The strike action, which paralyzed normal academic activities at Kogi State University, was embarked upon by the academic staff union of the institution to press for the payment of their earned academic allowances, which the chairman academic staff union, Kogi State University, Abdullah Yusuf and Linus Ako, says is the legitimate earning, which has accumulated for six years, totaling 1.2 billion naira. As we speak, nothing seems to have been done practically on the side of the government. The govern government has not called us to a negotiating table to say, okay, yes, we appreciate the fact that this is what you are entitled to, but this is what we are able to offer. If you offer something, we are human beings. We are demanding for our own academic allowances. Sometimes in 2013, ASU as a national body went on industrial action for six months to press home two basic demands, one, an academic allowance, and also to impress on the federal government to intervene in the various infrastructural decays that was going on in both states and federal universities all over the country. Reacting to some of the allegations, the Secretary of the State Government, Professor Ulubun Wujagede, while emphasizing that the earned allowances are not part of the lecturer's salary, he noted that the government received a report from the University Committee on 28th of January requesting for the payment of outstanding allowances. We felt that we needed to have ASU with us so that we can jointly work out the details. We want them to agree on the breakdowns and to work out jointly how we can best pay this money. We wrote them a letter. Rather than coming to us to say, what have you done with regards to the submission of the report that was made to His Excellency on the 28th? of uh, January, which he promptly acted upon on the 30th of January, ASU of our university, KSU, decided to go on strike. While the students bear the consequences of the stalemate, it appears neither the government nor ASU is ready to shift ground.